up, people? I'm Shaggy, the opinionated hippie. Uh, and this is part 29 of my ranking and reviewing Frank Zappa's guitar solos within the context of an album. Today, we're doing Shake Your Booty. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Um, currently, while I'm recording this or in, the, you know, in this time, this era, I'm sort of listening to Funky Nothingness, the most recent Zappa release, trying to absorb that and form my second opinion. I already have an initial initial opinion. I don't want to make a video. I want to like revisit it a couple more times and kind of, you know, let the, let the opinion, let the dust settle before I commit to like an opinion on this. Um, so I decided to do Shake Your Booty because there is a little bit of funky nothingness on Shake Your Booty. Um, the track, Wait a Minute, in which uh, uh, Bozio is like, what is he? He's like, he's in there. Uh, spending thousands of dollars, you know, talking about Frank, you know, who is apparently somewhere working on music. And the music he is working on is Basement Jam from Funky Nothingness. Um, so if you listen really carefully to Funky Nothingness, right before the 10 minute mark, um, like you hear this little, very, very memorable little Zappa guitar riff. And then if you listen to, wait a minute, you can hear that lick specifically behind it. And then once you pick out that, that lick, you can hear it, Dunbar's drums and it completely makes sense. And so in those two instances, and wait a minute, when Bozio is talking and you can hear Frank like working on something in the background, he's working on Basement Jam, which is from Funky Nothingness. So that being the case, I thought I would do the solos for Shake Your Booty. Uh, four solos, um, three of them rank up there on the top tier. Um, one of them, the fourth, kind of brings the average down a little bit, but uh, I'm not going to let it punish the, the ultimate ranking too much uh, because of that. So anyways, let's get on to the four. I'm going to talk about the four briefly, then I'll put them up on the screen. Uh, and then I'll show you where this album ranks among the other 28. Uh, number four, City of Tiny Lights. It's 30 sec 36, 30 sex, 36 seconds of Frank just kind of making a lot of really low no noise, so he kind of really just blends into the down arrow, and then after 36 seconds of him just kind of flailing away, he, they go into the near 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 part. Really, nothing to it at all. Um, it's almost as if it's not there. Um, yeah, 36 seconds of just Frank doing that. Um, and it is, it's kind of lost in the mix because he seems to be playing a lot of just really low notes that kind of blend in with the with the scenery. Uh, so that's easily number four. Um. These next three are fantastic. Um, at number uh, three, I have uh, the Shake Your Booty Tango. Um, this is a, uh, uh, from, when is it? February February 15th, 1978. This is the an end of a little house I used to live in. This is essentially the little house I used to live in solo spot. Um, Frank would drop in these little Shake Your Booty Tangos towards the end. Of, I think it was towards the end of the tour that he started to add that. I don't think it was the entire tour. Uh, but anyways, there's there's more than one Shake Your Booty Tango out there. It became like a thing he did in the little house I used to live in. It's just a great solo. The tango vibe, the Middle Eastern vibe, Frank's playing. There's a moment where kind of things drop out and he kind of just is flailing around, you know, without like support, though there's minimal support there. Um, so there's like two minutes of some hardcore tango in. Then he goes in a little more exploratory stuff, still dealing with those like those Middle Eastern notes and the band coming in. Keyboard is especially adding little sound effects. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic solo. Just the tango aspect of it, the different flavors of it, just everything about it. Uh, the rhythm section, uh, Bozio Hearns, just like... They're really good at sticking with the groove and just pounding it home and then pounding it home. And then like, very, you know, adding a little bit of spice and a little variety, but at the same time sticking with just like that, just like keeping it like steady and letting Frank just build on the momentum. Um, another good example of that, uh, Shake Your Booty Tango, my number three. Uh, my number two, Yo Mama, just like eight minutes of just Frank playing guitar, kind of that, three-part Yo Mama solo where the first part he's kind of just twirling his guitar around and seeing what comes up and the band shooting in little like noises and little atmospherics and adding a little bit of flavor, a little bit of flavor to it. Then we get that sort of shift into second, maybe third gear and we kind of amped up a little bit and things are getting a little more like aggressive and a little more like the rhythm sections kind of laying down and locking in a groove. And then we switch gears again and go into like 
hyper overdrive and everything gets like dun dun it gets magnificent and epic and like ah like arena like bring out your lighters and everybody's like holding their fist up and it's 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 a great great solo um i think it's from i don't i think this is a, a case of xenocrity um i think the solo is actually from two different solos um from the same winter 78 tour um, my understanding, and I think the rhythm sections don't always, aren't always from the same solo, but they're all from Yo Mama, I think. Um, I think, if you know more, post it in the comments, please. But I'm pretty sure this is like not one solo. I think it might be a little bit hobbled, cobbled together. Hobbled together, nobbled together. Um, regardless, it's epic. It's phenomenal. It should be number one, but there's number one which is Rat Tamago. From February 15th, the same uh, show that the Shake Your Booty Tango is from. It is a Torture Never Stop solo, and the Torture Never Stop solo from Winter 78 might be rank up there with like Inca Road 74, Inca Road 79, maybe some Zoot Allures 76 maybe? I don't know, but it ranks up there with the like ultimate guitar solo vehicles for Frank, Sa Frank Zappa those winter 78, even the fall 77 tortures. Um, the way that like Bozio and O'Hearn lock into that groove, this one has so many incredible little licks and phrases. The opening motif, na 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 that just Frank immediately digs into. Like, even if it wasn't a part of torture, and you can hear the torture in it. If you're familiar with torture, you can recognize that vamp in the background. There's even the screaming noises. The, ah, ah, that's going on. Even if it wasn't a part of torture, it's it's deserving to be a standalone track. It is such a perfect piece of music. It just happens to be a five and a half minute guitar solo. So many interesting phrases. It doesn't really, it builds in intensity, but doesn't like volcano. You know, it's not a volcano solo where everything just gets crazier and crazier and then explodes. It just kind of just, Frank just digs in a little more and gives a little more as it goes on. And it just like, it is one of those perfect 10, there's nothing wrong with its solos. I made a video years ago about ranking the solos that were just released um, during uh, Frank's lifetime. It's elsewhere on this channel. Brett Tamago was in the top 10. It might have been the top five. It might have been in the top two. It might have might have been number one. Um, but it's one of those, I think it's one of the most perfect solo creations, most perfect things Frank has ever released. Uh, Rat Tamago, easily my number one. Not easily, yeah, easily. As, as great as Yo Mama and Shake Your Booty Tango are, Rat Tamago is easy, my number, easily my number one. But anyways, there's only four of them. That's what they look like. So yeah, there they are. So uh, this would rank much higher its overall average if it wasn't for that city, which brought it down. But still, it's right there. It's in the top five, number four. It is still a really, really, really good release. Um, yeah, I mean, those three solos, really, if it wasn't for the City of Tiny Lights, this would be like probably a perfect release as far as guitar solos go. Um, there'd be only three, but it would be a perfect release nonetheless. So anyways, yeah, that's all I got. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know your ranking of the solos, all that kind of stuff. Comment, subscribe, like. And if you haven't heard Rat Tamago, go listen to Rat Tamago. It is a perfect piece of music. Peace. Talk to you later.